It is well known that in Alzheimer's disease, the best correlation between the cognitive decline exists with synapse loss. That is not synapse function, but you can't measure synapse function in a human. It's impossible. Um, whether synapse function is impaired prior to the actual loss of synapses is unknown. We don't know that. There's a standard procedure that everybody who works on Alzheimer's disease models does this with measure LTP, but they just measure LTP. And as measurements as such, these measurements are meaningless because they don't relate to synaptic transmission in general. They, you don't know whether you're starting from the same point. You don't know basically what's happening. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's more of a sign sort of, uh, 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 something that everybody does, but it doesn't really mean anything. So, um, yes, there could be major changes that lead to Alzheimer's disease, or the synaptic dysfunction could just be an epiphenomenon that's a consequence of the pathological process. I don't think anybody knows.